in the evolution of growing up, I think kids start to realize what reaching their goals requires. And sometimes in high school, a kid that's really talented may not have the desire, but he still shows on the field as really talented because he's just better than everybody. And, and when you get to this level, it's not that way. Everybody's a very talented person and, and you have to work. I mean, regardless of your skill set, your stars, your NFL ranking, whatever it is, if you don't put in the work, if you don't have the desire to outwork your opponent, to outwork yourself, then it's going to show on the field. And we're judged, you know, on national television. And you don't want to be that guy that underachieved and, and didn't reach his potential because you didn't do everything you could do. It's different if you've given all your your work, all your grit, all your toughness, and you get beat on a play, you know, so be it. That other player is a good player. But don't let those things happen because you didn't prepare the right way or, you know, you didn't get the rest. You didn't give yourself the opportunity because of your work ethic. Uh, when you talk about the word desire, it really fits into the mantra of our work ethic and, and pushing yourself, you know, internally to be the best version of you. Uh, we talk about wanting it more than the team you're playing, but it's also wanting to be a better version of yourself every day. That incremental desire to improve uh, and chase the two dreams that we talk about all the time, you know, life with football and life without it, it can't just come from the coach's mouth. It has to be an internal drive that these guys have. You don't realize what a difference they make until you realize what a difference they make. The all new Ram 1500. Why more people are switching to Ram than ever before. Hurry to the Ram Labor Day sales event. Get an average 13,696 in total values or 0% APR for six years on the 2018 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. Best tailgate. Brisket. No, real football. Y pollo asado. Poops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill. And an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke. Come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. The old saying, good things come to those who wait, is just that, old. Those good things, you have to get out there and chase them. We see it in the millions of people we fly around the world, all of them, living proof. Good things come to those who go. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad.
mean, they've got a really good staff, and their players, you know, winning 28 games in two seasons. They've played a lot of football. I mean, 30 games in two years is a lot of games. And so they've got a lot of guys, even though they lost a lot of starters in some areas, they got a lot of guys that have played and uh, expect to win just like we do. You know, I'm excited for these young men, and uh, they've worked really hard. And they come off a year where we're a top 25 team and a preseason where we're top 25, and, and this team's on a mission to have back-to-back -back seasons like that. And so to start the journey with a bunch of great guys, man, and great coaches, um, and let them go play. I mean, all this work we do is for these 12 opportunities to earn another one, and this is just step one in the journey. You know, I, I think for me, it's not anxiety anymore. It's, you know, you're excited to see them. Um, you're anxious for them. You want them to play well. You know, you're just trying to think about ways you can help them and stay focused on what I have to do. You know, I think the more that I think about me, the worse that would be. You know, I think all my effort is about, all right, which players are going to need me to calm them down or, you know, how can I help them throughout the game? You've been going to Disney World your whole life, haven't you? You've been underground? Nah. You ain't that special? Nah. You know there's an underground there, right? There's an underground Disney? There's a whole world underground. That's how they travel around. You see them disappear behind a fence, they pop up somewhere else on the other side of town. My, so. my kids, when we lived in Tampa, huh? they had season passes for like six years straight. To Disney? Uh, they, 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 they were junkies. I, I think this is probably as fun, as, as much fun as you can have as a coach. I mean, you know, not that that, that car drove itself last year, but, uh, you know, those guys were much further along than this group of young men that I have. But I think this is, this is what makes coaching fun. You know, when you get to coach it from, you know, at, the, at their birth stage of college, of college football. So, uh, and it's been fun, this, this camp. You know, these, these guys have really taken to it and they've owned it and they're trying to build their own legacy, their own identity. Yeah, and, and it's been a lot of fun. A lot of times these young people, are they're drinking from a fire hose. There's so much being thrown at them as far as, you know, the defense or the offense. And, and then just the pace of the game at this level and, and going against a different breed of, you know, animals, so to speak. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a challenge for them, you know, and, you, and they hit a wall a little bit quicker. And, and to a degree, they're just trying to keep up and, and survive to a degree. And, uh, uh, but it's, it's exciting to see them when they, they, they burst through that moment. They have that one moment where they burst through that, that you know, beyond that survival mode and go, you know, I got this. The game's slow, slowing down to me. I, I know what it's all about now. And now it's just, you know, really perfecting their craft as much as anything else. During fall camp, it kind of surprised me how, how much it was. I didn't think it was going to be as much of a load as it was. Uh, getting up at 6 o'clock, getting here by 7, and then leaving at 9.30 at night. I didn't really think it was going to be that much with meetings and stuff, but that really made me realize that, you know, I'm playing college football now, and this is, this is something you really have to take serious if you want to be good. I say some of the bigger leaders like E, uh, Darian Roseboro, James, Laura Murchison in front of me, uh, Shug's been a leader to me, Grant, basically all of the guys, because uh, most of them are older than me. And so I've just been taking tips and little notes from all of them, uh, just everything, preparation, studying. I'm definitely going to take what they do with me and apply it to the guys that are coming in next year or year after that. These guys here are great leaders to me. They've shown me a lot. They've shown me the ropes. And I plan to take that and do it with the guys after me as well. And it's going to be fun to watch these guys progress through the year because, like you said, we've got a lot of freshmen in this too deep. A lot of guys who have never played a college football down in their life. So, uh, you know, I've seen it through camp and I, and I see it even this morning listening to these guys when they pass by me in the halls or, or text me. So it, it's, it's going to be a challenge, but it's something that, that, that we're excited to, you know, embark upon that challenge and, and you know, take it on. It's very important that, that, that we continue the you know, legacy that we keep speaking of how to do things, the way to do it, when to do it, and so forth. Uh, it's, it's something that I think Roseboro and E, who's probably as quiet as anybody on this team uh, is, has done a really good job at doing that. Hey, what you, what you got, uh, what's your one more today? 
Hey man, everything, bro. Just put it all out here, bro. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, let's go. Let me, I want to see it. I'm on you all day. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, make sure it's right. Cause if it ain't, guess what? I'm on you at the practice. Yeah, I see myself as a leader. Um, more so as a, uh, a guy who leads by example. I'm not too much of a talkative guy, but I get out of my comfort zone a lot lately since I'm a senior now. Um, so yeah, just bring, being able to bring these guys along with me, you know, it always helped them. So when their time comes, they look back and see the things I did for them or, you know, just gain off what happened in the past. Hey, last quarter, bro, let's go. Uh, let's go, man. Oh boy, Darren. Ah, I don't know, James. I think I'm a little bit smoother than you. You don't think so? Oh, sweet feet? Oh, you know I got, you know I got feet like Ali. Off the field, he quietly goes about being an incredible human being. You know, I mean, he does all these community service activities and he's giving back to the community. And but he doesn't do it where he's out there pounding his chest and look at me. You know, I mean, I just think it's it's a tribute to how he's raised. He's got great parents and. Uh, he wants to leave a legacy, you know, and feel like he's made an impact on our on our society and in our community, and he's doing those things, and it's fun to be a part of that. We just wanted to do something to impact the community, and you know, we wanted to push it out to get exposed so others can see what we're doing. Like, we want to make them feel like they're able to do it, like basically step out of their comfort zone. See, for me, that's stepping out of my comfort zone. I don't like to talk much. Braylon, he can talk, like, you know what I'm saying? He can go out and talk to people. I can't do it that much. So by me stepping out and doing that, I just wanted to like show people the other side of me that they've never seen before. I never really grew up like uh, homeless or anything. So, you know, I never like to see nobody struggle like that. And then all around through my city, I see a lot of people struggling. You know, we got all these people around here at NC State. It's like, what, 35,000? So. We, I felt like that was the like, perfect time to like do it, you know, since there's so much people on this campus, it can affect a lot. It made me feel good, you know, um, knowing that I'm doing something good and, uh, you know, just affecting people positively. Basically, in the fourth quarter, you want to get the job done, you know, finish the game off. So that's basically what it translates to when I go out and help people get the job done. Don't, don't come up uh, shorthanded. We'll make sure I'm affecting this person or whoever we're going out to help and make sure they're actually, you know, they feel good from what happened. I, I don't want it just to be, I don't want it to be for like uh, publicity. I want this to be real deep down heart, like, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, basically just get the job done and finish what you, what you started. So now that I started it, I'm gonna finish it, keep going. Give me that. Give me that. That desire, that thick, that down in your stomach, deep down in your stomach, something that just really pushes you forward and just makes everything click in your body and um, you know you, you can't play this game without a deep desire especially at this level but uh, I don't think there's a really a better word than that hey listen this day's gone now all right we got to be ready Saturday's gonna be upon us man you hear me let's go hey family on two family on two one two hey. best tailgate Brisket. No, real football. Y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you talk burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Hum what? You need a hot grill. And an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke. Come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. The Learfield Directors' Cup, the highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors' Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors' Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. It's the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event. It's gonna be the best day of my life. There are only a few days left to take advantage of great deals, like 0% financing for 60 months on the built Ford Tough F-150. So hurry and save big on Ford, America's best-selling brand. 
During the final days of the Ford Summer Sales Event, get zero for 60 plus 2,800 bonus cash on select F-150s at your Carolina Ford dealer. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. Good morning and welcome to West Riley where the countdown clock keeps ticking down to the start of a very anticipated 2018 season. We're going to kick off a little more than an hour from now and begin the 126th year of Wolfpack football and year number 51 at Carter Finley Stadium. Thanks for joining us today as the pack faces the FCS national runner up from a year ago, James Madison University. Two years ago, the Dukes were the FCS national champs. They come into this game ranked preseason number two in the football championship subdivision. It's overwhelming, you know, and it just, you know, it's just like I told, you know, some of these young guys are gonna play in their first game. Just, you know, just take it all in and, and enjoy it, you know, and just, and you're gonna be, you're gonna have a little bit of nervousness. You're gonna have the butterflies, maybe even a little bit of fear like I did, but just go and that's bravery and that's, and that's more exciting than any, any other play you're gonna have in college football is that first play you're gonna have. And just enjoy it and, and go a million miles an hour because you, you give great effort that makes up for a lot of mistakes. Actually, I had a dream about running through that tunnel one time and I was just, it was like a slow jog. I just like spinned around, I just took a look at everyone in the stands, just taking a look at everything. This Carter family gets, it gets rocking. And me living in Raleigh, I've been to a lot of state games, even before being recruited. As a young child, I was at state games. And it's, it's just always been the same. Carter Friendly is just, it's like, no, it's like nothing else. Y'all ready to have some fun? Yes, sir. There ain't a whole lot to say. It's time to go do it. Play with those pads, man. Play for each other and enjoy every freaking minute of it. It's a one play at a time deal. One play at a time. Putting all your heart, all your love, all your fight into six seconds. Get the call, do it again. Get the call, do it again. Everybody got each other's back in here, right? Yes, Gillespie yeah. behind Finley, gets the handoff. Big hole over the left side. Gillespie into the secondary. 15 out to the 20 yard line to the 22. And it's a two man blitz. Pack picks it up. Here's Finley throwing. He's got Myers. Myers at the 48 yard line. Rolling right, throwing right sideline. Caught by Harmon. And he's chucked out of bounds, tight to the right. Here's a throw over the middle, caught 25-yard line to the 20 of easy. Ryan Finley picking his receivers as he wants to. Second and 18 from the 26. Here's Finley with a swing pass to Baker Williams in the first game. His first oh, he catch, fumbled. he fumbles the football at the 31, and JMU has got it. Here's Danucci throwing right side, wide open receiver. Dean's got it, 50-yard line, Jukes to the 45. Danucci faking, he'll throw to the tight end. Open is Mac Cullen, Cullen to the five yard line. He looks, he fires end zone, caught there by Stapleton. We need it, we gotta go, we gotta go. Finley has time, guns it right, wide open, caught, 40 yard line is Amizi. Looking, guns it over the middle, caught by Myers, Myers to the 30 yard line to the 29. Finley fakes to him, throws over the middle, caught by Myers, 15 yard line, down to the 10 before he snowed under. Finish in the box! Get in the box, oh! Hand off Gillespie over the right side, they ran that way, Gillespie pulls his way to about the 8 yard line. Good snap, ball down, kick is on its way, it is good! And a way to go, Chris. Down at 13. There's Danucci to throw. He steps up. He's scrambling, running for his life. He's to the 37 yard line and he's brought down. We'll punt it away from his 25. Almost blocked. And he gets away the rugby punt. Taking his Thayer Thomas at the 23. Cross the 25. Up the left side, 30. 40 yard line. He breaks free at the 50. Oh, 
Riley out of the shotgun. Will take the snap, fires it out right side, caught by C.J. Riley. They are Thomas in motion, three wide to that side, throws a wide receiver screen to Thomas. He's open, 10-yard line to the five, still moving into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. And State's got the lead for the first time in this game. Fakes the handoff to Sharp. He's hit as he fires. He throws, and it's caught at the 21-yard line. He sends Johnson, one of the backs, in motion. He fakes like he's going to throw to Johnson. He's sacked by Ibrahim Conte. Pack faking blitz. They'll rush four. Danucci looks. Looks. Now he's scrambling. Danucci will roll. He is hit. Ball is loose. It is picked up by State at the 20-yard line. Andreas Bryant picks it up, drops it and then falls on it again all the way out to about the 31 yard line. Receivers, two of them to each side. Here's the snap, Finley will throw, left corner end zone for Riley, out jumps his man, touchdown, State. How about you, Doug? I'm here, man. That was well learned right there. Man. Good, good. Listen, it's 0-0. We beat ourselves enough in this game. The only one stopping you is you. That's it. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Let's go play for E. Get up in here, let's go. Finish on two, one, two. Finish. Finley out of the gun. He'll throw it up the left side. Beautiful catch by Myers. Off balance and down he goes. Finley hands to Gillespie with Rocky on front of him. It's a slant run to the left and he gets almost to the 35 yard line. Here's a quick throw out to the left side. Sims catches, gets past his man at the 30, 35, and out close to the 40 yard line before he's put down by Nick McLeod. Back rushes forward. Johnson to throw. Batted down at the line of scrimmage. I think it was the freshman tackle, Aline McNeil. That ball, you don't get up inside the ball, right? down today, Finley to throw in the pocket, fires it out right side, caught by Myers, what a diving catch. First and 10, JMU from its own 47, handoff this time is to the back, and he's met and dropped in his own backfield. Marshall swarmed under by three defenders. off to Marshall, around the right side, breaks a tackle, he's hit, breaks another tackle, 20 to the 10, five, dragged down inside the five by Isaiah Moore, looks to his right, he's being rushed, he's gonna take off to the five yard line of the four, down to the three goes Danucci, here's the snap, ball down, kick on its way, and it uh, rips right through the uprights. The pistol handoff going to Gillespie over the right side. Breaks a tackle across at the 20. Finley in a shotgun firing right side. Caught by Harmon and he's taken out of bounds at the 31 yard line. Here comes a blitz. Finley looking, looking, fires it left side. Open his fires. 45 40. He's to the JMU 30 yard line. Spun down and stopped at the 29. Finley under center on first down for the 18 of JMU. Handoff going to Gillespie. Breaks a tackle in the secondary of the 10. Down to the five yard line goes Reggie Gillespie. There you go, bud. There you go, bud. Put it in, bud. It gets the pack first down and goal to go, and they're going to mark the football at the six yard line. First and goal to go from the six. Damian Darden is the up back, tight end fullback, man in motion. Finley takes the snap, handoff Gillespie over the right side. Gillespie to the two one. Touchdown, State. That'll do it. That should seal it. Danucci back out of the shotgun, looking, looking, swings it out left side. Ball caught by Dean, and he is pummeled. Go! Go! 23 seconds! Here's Danucci, the pit transfer, cocks the arm, fires long, and it is caught by Stapleton. All right, here we go, final play of the game. Looks over the middle, looks right, fires toward the end zone. It is incomplete. Clock goes to zero. That's the ball game, and State wins. 24 to 13. Light up the bell tower red. It's Nissan's bottom line model year end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Rogue. With available Pro Pilot Assist. 
Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. Best tailgate, brisket. No, real football, y pollo asado. Hoops and wings. Dude, subs. Hot dogs. Chili dog. No, Dodger dog. It's gotta be crawfish. Now you're talking burgers. Seven layer dip. Ribs. No contest. Hummus. Um, what? You need a hot grill and an ice cold Coke. Of course. Football and Coke, come on. It's got to be Coke. Game day. Race day. Calls for Coke. You know it. Grab yourself a Coke. It's tailgate 101. With today's tools, all the information you need is just a click away. I'm going to show you how to remove the... And as a member of an electric cooperative, you have access to lots of valuable tools. Tools that help you do it yourself when it comes to controlling your home energy use and budget. Leaving you free to be dad. This university is on a march to achieve our full potential. We help empower each other to dream big and do big. That's why I really love our slogan, Think and Do. When you get these folks from NC State, they don't mind rolling up their sleeves and getting their hands dirty. Companies want to hire NC State students. We make something impossible possible. We've been equipped to go out there and do great things and to change the world. It's in the DNA of the place. We're here to think and do the extraordinary. This portion of One with Wolfpack Football is presented by Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, bringing real Coke taste with zero sugar and zero calories to Wolfpack fans everywhere. How about that, Wolfpack? Yeah! Yeah! 1-0, oh? half the teams in the country are 0-1, nice. half the teams are 1-0. Oh. We're on the right side of things with a lot of work to do. Right. I do want to point out one guy I thought just played incredible today and left it all on the field out there, Jacoby Myers. Okay. Bunch of you young guys played your first college football. All right. Some big plays there, Thomas. First touchdown, big punt return. Great job there. Okay. Bunch of good stuff. But listen, and this stuff doesn't slow down. There ain't no off week till October. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. So the rest of the day is yours. If I were you and I played, I would live in the ice tub. Bullshit. I would live in the ice tub because we're not going to slow practice down. We're not going to slow that down. This train is freaking rolling, dog. All right? How good do you want to be? Because if you want to be great, week two's got to be better than week one. I don't care who we're playing. It's about our performance. And there's a bunch of stuff we'll watch tomorrow. Today we're going to celebrate the win. And you all deserve that. Tomorrow we'll get all that stuff fixed. All right? Bring it up in here tight. Let's go. Family out two, one, two! A strong feeling of wanting to get something done. You gotta have that, that drive to make you want to go do it. So it's like the desire to get something done, then and there or throughout time. Everything that I do, I pretty much compete in. So if I'm, if I'm not doing too good, I'm gonna have that desire to want to do better next time I do it. We call it a NASCAR mentality, you know, we want to drive the car 200 miles an hour and be real close to the wall as we're going around at max speed, but not get to 201 where you hit the wall. And that's how we want to play football. We want to play fast and furious and, and loose, but focused and, and under control. And, and so you're constantly pushing the guys to play like that and then making sure they understand, you know, what they can't do. Uh, and I think that's really important because you don't want to be out there losing your mind and letting anger be a part of your decision making and, and but at the same time you want that you know you want guys to play on fire with an attitude and a demeanor that it is a, it's a tough sport you know we want to play it that way